How difficult is it, I mean, you're dealing with 18, 19, 20 year old kids basically, to get them to buy in still and not you know, hang their head at practice after something that happened yesterday? Um, I haven't had a real uh, problem with it, with this group. As coaches, it's our job to encourage them and to keep them positive in spite of the losses, because as we know, with any team, if you lose so much, what is the point? You know, some, some people would just say, what's the point in working hard? But I always tell them we're going to get the next one, you know, and they tend to believe us, I guess, um, by, the, by, by obviously their play and how they come out and at least fight from beginning to end. Even when we're down or up, we continue to press uh, forward, and that's a tribute to them. Um, sticking together, all the things you're asking kids to do before you get in those situations, when you're actually in them, will they then do the things that you're hoping that they will do, which is stick together and continue to look for the teammates and not try to do all of it by themselves because some people will get out there and just try to go one on five or one on, you know, um, trying to do everything on their own. But we, we try to show them uh, when we're sharing the ball how good it looks and then that kind of gets them to understand that, you know, in spite of the, the losses, you can still play with some pride and some uh, fortitude out there and show the fans that, you know, if they're going to come support you in spite of you losing, you can at least put some effort. And that's exactly what they're doing.